Welcome back to NASCAR 06 Total Team Control. Right now I'm about to do race 33 of 36. I'm here at the Alamo Speedway here in Hampton, Georgia for the running of the Bass Pro Shops MBNA 500. This is chase race number 7. Four races left until we crown the champion at Homestead Miami Speedway. I come into this race with a 71 point lead over Tony Stewart. Uh, but the last time I came here at... at Atlanta, I finished 27th, but that was because I took two tires instead of four, and two tires didn't really work here. Um, in this race, I start third. Shockingly, I don't have a pole for this race. Um, oh, by the way, I have 13 wins uh, in this Let's Play so far. So will I go for win number 14 today here at Atlanta, or I go back to back? We'll find out. Tony Stewart starts on the pole, by the way. So here we go. And here we go, the green flags out, we're underway for 39 laps here at Atlanta. Whoa, 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 sideways, and I'm around. Oh my goodness. I'm in, oh my goodness. I, the car just got sideways on me and I tried to control it and... Yeah, Ken Schrader involved, Jimmy Johnson. John Andretti, Sterling Marlin involved. I came up on Sterling Marlin. Oh my goodness. Yes, I'm going to pit under caution. I need to get these fresh tires. Shit. This is something I do not need to happen in the rest of the chase races. I do not need to be in any more wrecks. I do not need any mistakes in the final four races. This could cost me. I came into this race with the 71 point lead over Tony Stewart and Tony just got the five bonus points for leading the lap so yeah. So I need to do something now and hopefully I don't wreck myself anymore. I told you you know, Atlanta is one of those tracks where I'm not really good at. I kind of have bad luck at on the old NASCAR games. Atlanta is just not my track. So I'm going to be 43rd. And when the leaders pit, I'm going to pit as well if I don't wreck myself again. So here we go. Tony Stewart leads back to the green flag. Green flag's back out with 35 laps to go. And I'm in 43rd, dead last. Yeah, the car just got side... Oh, wow. I just got left in the dust. Look at that. Wow. I just got left hanging. I just did not get going. You can have... You, and you know, I haven't been involved in many incidents in this chase. You can have mulligans. And it could cost you from a championship. It cost me out of a championship and on NASCAR 2005 I don't want to I don't want to lose another championship because of mistakes and being involved in incidents like I said these these championship the championship could come down to the final race just like in NASCAR 2005 Jimmy Johnson's back here Rob Jeff Burton's back here Joe Nemechek, Scott Wimmer, Kenny Wallace, Scott Riggs is back here. So, now the question is, since I'm back here, now I know I did say it, and you, kn I know you guys did watch race number four of this Let's Play, when I, the first time I raced here at Atlanta. How two tires went wrong for me. I went from leading the race to finishing 27th. Now here's the thing. Oh no! Don't wreck again. Now, Jesus Christ. Now here's the situation. This is the champ. This is the chase. Now, you got to gamble to win the championship. Should I go for two tires and not be in this back of the field anymore? You know, that's something that I question myself. Oh my god, I am sideways. Look at these guys, three wide heavy. I'm not going to make it four wide. There's no way in hell I'm going to do that. And here's the thing. Since I'm in this big group of cars, I'm going to be patient. Trying to. Oh gosh, I got sideways. I'm going to be patient. 
and not make any bold moves. Because I don't want to wreck myself again. Like I said, that lap one incident just caught me off guard. It just jumped sideways on me and I tried to control it and it was just too late. Sterling Marlin was up to my outside lane. So trouble's early for the championship leader, which is me. I'm move I'm getting up through the field. I mean I'm not pushing it right now, there's no need to push it. I just wanna get some spots easily too. Michael Waltrip's there, Casey Mears. Casey Mears, I wonder if he got over that incident at Martinsville after I turned him. Not on purpose, but <laughs> it was just one of those things. I was trying to lap him. Oh my god, I got sideways again. Oh, sideways! Oh, save it, Joe Sutton! No! God damn it! Don't get hit, don't get hit, don't... If I... Oh, okay. If I don't get hit, I'm good. Okay, I didn't get hit. I accidentally skipped the replay by accident. I was just panicking. Now I'm gonna have worn tires. See, the car jumped sideways on me again. Yeah, I accidentally skipped the replay just because I was panicking. Oh my god, yep. Old tires. And I'm up to the outside lane, cut! What? I became rivals? Oh yeah, I did become rivals with Casey Mears now. So that's two weeks in a row, two races in a row I should say, that me and Casey Mears has been involved in an incident. Ah, he's gonna block me too. He's gonna hit me too. He's gonna hit me. He's going to hit me. He's going to hit me. Okay, he didn't hit me. Now, don't get sideways on me, car, please. Damn! I am not having a good race. Been involved in two accidents. And both of them was just going sideways too. Just, you know, I mean, I tried to control it and it's just too late. Michael Waltrip just went in the wall behind me. I'm halfway on fuel. When, when these leaders pit, I'm going to pit. The question is, should I take two or four tires? I mean, it is the chase. This is a different story than the spring race before. Alright, these drivers are pitting right now. Oh, sideways. Jeremy Mayfield was also my rival there after that Talladega incident. Alright. I'm gonna pit next time by. I'm pitting next time by. No, I'm gonna wait till lap 20. Oh, jeez! See, it got sideways on me again. See, I, Atlanta is just one of my worst racetracks on any NASCAR game. I just cannot race this racetrack. I just get sideways all the time. You know, there are some racetracks where you're not good at, you know? I mean, these things happen. And that's what makes the chase interesting is because there's some tracks that I'm not particularly good at. Alright, Kyle. Alright, I'm going to pit next time. Okay! Was underneath you. Alright, I'm pitting. I'm gonna pit. Oh, I'm really not sure if I should take two tires. I don't think I should. Alright, I'm coming in. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Alright, you know what? Taking a big risk. Two tires. Oh, add fuel, please. Two tires. Two tires. I'm taking a big gamble. I'm taking a big gamble. I want to get back up to the front. Oh, man. I don't know what I'm doing here. If you want to win this championship, you got to gamble. All right, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Tony Stewart's in now. Ah, oh, sideways, don't. Don't, 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 don't. Alright. Ah. 
Alright, back on track. Now we'll see where I'll be at after everything cycles through. Two tires didn't work the last time I came here, but you know what? This is the chase for the championship. Gotta go for it. Gotta go for the gamble. I don't want to be on the outside lane, though. So, Kurt, it would be nice if you let me have the bottom lane. I'm gonna gain some spots, obviously. But I want to get closer to the race lead. Ricky Rudd has not pitted yet. Yep, I see Tony Stewart up there coming off turn four, so obviously I did catch up quite a bit. Damn it, I don't want to be here! Oh my gosh, don't put me in this hole. Oh, sideways! My goodness, these two... Oh my god, I'm going to do so terrible with these two tires. Uh, Martin Truex Jr. has not pitted yet in that one car. Alright, Ryan Newman was up towards the front, so I... At least I'm here. Martin Truex Jr. still has not paid yet. Here comes some other drivers on pit road right now. So I'm in the top 15. Oh my god, please. Please don't get sideways on me. Here comes Smart Tricks Jr. on pit road right now. And the rest. So I may be in the top 10 after all this cycle's through. Here comes some more drivers on pit road, so I'm in 12th right now. Yeah, I'm gonna be, uh, let me see. Oh, first, second, third, fourth. I'm gonna be in 7th. I'm gonna be in 7th. I'm gonna be in the top 10. Joe Nemechek is pitting. I know Smart Tricks Jr. is pitting. Oh, but the, I don't need Tony. You see, Tony Stewart's going to lead the most laps. I really don't need that. See, and I hope, and you know, Tony's got basically a half a second lead or three, three quarters of a second lead. And if he wins this race, he's really going to gain on me. You know, if I stay in seventh and Tony wins, I still could have the points lead. I'm, I'm going to figure out, let me see. Okay, if Tony Stewart wins this race and I finish 7th, let's say if I finish in this spot right here, um, he's obviously going to uh, have a... He's going to basically have like a... I'm basically go still going to have the points lead, but probably by like 26 or 31 points. Or 21 points. I don't know how much of a lead I'm going to have after this race. Oh no! I'm in the wall! Oh, Ricky! I got sideways off the corner. Okay, okay! Whatever, Ricky! I'm in the wall again. You son of a... Assholes! What the fuck? I'm just trying to hold my line and everyone's slamming in the back of me. I don't understand. When you see a car sideways, get off the gas. I was getting off the gas, trying to get off the wall, trying to stay off of people, and yet that happens to me. No, I'm not pitting. I'm taking a gamble. Fuck that. I was just trying to save my race car, and yet I, I couldn't have any control. But yet, if you see a side, you should do what, like in real life. If you see a sideways, a car si sideways in front of you, you should let up. Or try to go around. Oh my god, I'm sideways. Oh my god, I've got worn tires now. And it's eight laps to go, so basically I'm, I'm gonna have to deal with this for eight laps! God damn it! That's my bad. Oh, don't hit the apron! Oh, worn left side tires, that's not good. Oh, please don't make... I'm gonna wreck. There's gonna be another caution, guys. Oh, oh my god! Car didn't turn. I'm done. I'm done. I'm in the wall. Oh my god. I'm not going to have the points lead after this race. 
you know what? I'm really good at Texas, and Texas is the next race. And I won there at Texas the first time I went there. I was back on race number seven. I won there last time. So maybe I have a good shot of winning Texas! Six to go. Damn it, I'm outside the top 20. I am sideways, man. I'm trying to hold on to this race car. I'm going to see if I can still gain spots. Ah, uh, I'm sideways. Ah, uh, sideways! Oh, there I go in the grass. Okay. If I somehow don't wreck in the final five laps, I'm going to be amazed. Because I have a feeling I'm going to wreck myself sooner or later. I'm, I feel... Oh, my God. This car wants to wreck. Oh, my God! I'm in the wall. Come on, Joseph. Hang on for another four laps now. We're coming to four to go. Hang on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I told you two tires would not work, and I took the gamble, and I took a bad one. But you know what? It's the chase for the championship. Like I... Oh! Here we go! S nice save. Oh, I'm still trying to save it. Okay, that was a good save by me. Oh, I'm dropping positions, though. I'm in the middle. That's not good. Holy... F Christ. Ah, turn. Three to go. Hold on to this thing, Joseph. You know what? It's I'm not gonna matter where I'm gonna finish. I need to just I need to just finish. I don't need to wreck. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Ah! Well, I won't go for my 14th win today. Oh, I'm sideways, man. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm sideways still. Two to go. Tony's going to win this race. That's going to be bad for me. He's led the most laps, and he's going to get another five bonus points for winning. So basically, he's going to have 15 points extra to gain on me. And I'm not going to have the points lead after this race. So that means Texas, Phoenix, and Homestead, I really need to pick up the pace. If I'm going to win the championship, and I'm around. One car upside down. I am upside down. Elliot Sadler on this roof. I'm on my roof. A, a scary incident. And I got turned over by Kyle Petty. Damn, man. Nope, stay out. You know what that means? Green, white, checkered. It's a green, white, checkered. Or check your flag. I'm going to finish 23rd. Son of a bitch. Damn it. So Tony Stewart wins. Not what I needed. I am. Gosh. I am. You know what? I'm so glad this race is over though. So now I became rivals with Kyle Petty. Don't need to worry about him. Ken Schrader. I don't need to worry about. Casey Mears. I don't need to worry about. Because we're going to Texas. They're going to be in the back anyway. So Tony Stewart wins, unfortunately. Greg Biff was second. Kevin Harvick third. Dale Nart Jr. fourth. Dale Jerry fifth. Ryan Newman sixth. Ricky Rudd seventh. Matt Kenseth eighth. Kurt Busch ninth. And I finished fucking 23rd. Damn it. I'm not going to have the points lead after this race. Tony's probably going to have a big points lead. That means Texas, Phoenix, and Homestead I need to pick up the pace. I won Texas last time, which was, you know, if you watch race 7, I did I did win Texas. I finished third at Phoenix, and I need to uh, win Homestead. So hopefully I'll win the final three races, because I'm pretty good at those races. Ah, uh, you know, not bad. You know, I thought it was a bigger lead than that. So Tony Stewart has taken over the points lead in the championship chase by 25 points over me after my poorly 23rd place finish and his win. And uh, basically, yeah, it's just me and Tony Stewart battling for the championship now. No one else is in range. So the next race is going to be Chase Race number 8, Race 34, 36 at Texas Motor Speedway in Fort Worth, Texas for the running of the Dickies 500. And 
three races left until we crown the champion. So I will see you guys at Texas.